Good morning, welcome to Good Vibes. Isa na naman gabi, nakipagsasama natin mga ka-Good Vibes. Dahil yan naman talaga ang dapat. Dapat lang na tayo ay laging happy and merry and generous sa ating pagkakalat ng all things good and happy. Walang masamang nadudulot ang pagbibigay ng kasiyahan. Para sa mga kagaya ko, kagaya mo, kagaya nating lahat na merong... Insomnia! <laughs> yun! our Where Are They Now series, tignan naman natin kung nasaan na ang mga kilalakhang mga tinatawag nating original Pinoy MTV VJs. Sila ang mga nasa small screen noon na umiintro ng ating mga favorite music videos. Let's take a look at where some of them are right now. She holds the title of being the very first Filipina MTV VJ kasama ni Francis M na kauna-unang Filipino MTV VJ. She was not only peppy, she was articulate and very bubbly. Kaya naman tuwang-tuwa sa kanya ang mga manonood noon. Ngayon, kilala rin siya bilang queen of dance, fashion designer, dance instructor, mommy and wife. Very active pa rin siya sa showbiz at sa pagiging mother. Regine Tolentino has definitely moved up and went higher sa kanyang career. Nag-umbisa siya bilang isang MTV VJ at naging model at nakilala bilang artista sa mga TV shows kagaya ng Dade Di Dodu at Encantadia. Naging host din siya ng longest running noontime show na Eat Bulaga at kinilala siya bilang isa sa mga pinakamagandang mukha sa showbiz. Ngayon, masaya na si Cindy Corleto bilang isang ina sa kanyang napaka-cute na anak na si Noah at she's based sa Lima, Peru kasama kanyang non-showbiz na asawa na katoon ng kanyang atensyon sa pagpapalaki ng kanyang anak. Ay, naalala ko na yan, Sir Tim. Nagpakalamalan kami, magkapatid niyan. Rosa, makaya ba naman ang confidence level ng konti, ah? Konti lang. Try ko po, Sir Tim, pero you cannot deny this beauty. <laughs> Muna siyang nakilala bilang isang modelo at mas naro siyang nakilala sa kanyang galing sa pag-host nung nasa MTV siya bilang isang DJ. Ngayon ay nakabase na si Belinda Panelo sa Amerika kung saan isa siyang mommy to two beautiful kids. Nag-host pa rin siya paminsan-minsan para sa mga Filipino events at madalas siya makasama at magkita ni G. Tonji na kanyang best friend. She recently hosted the Binibining Pilipinas United States pageant. She was one of the sweetest VJs on MTV, kasama na rin ang pagiging membro ng That's Entertainment. Ang kanyang sweet but fun na persona ang nagpa-endear sa kanya sa mga fans at para sa mga Pinoy's all over the world. Now, Donita Rose is still in showbiz bilang isang artista at host sa mga events at iba't ibang mga TV shows. Isa pa rin siyang ina at butiing may bahay ni Eric Villarama. Kung siya si Donita Rose na mistisa, ako naman, morenang version ni Donita Rosa. <laughs> Bagaya pa ang Donita Nonaire sa'yo, Rosa. <laughs> Isa bang napakaganda at super talented ang dating MTV VJ na si Sarah Meyer. Di lamang siya isang VJ noong panahon na yon, kundi isa ring model at travel writer. Ang kanyang MTV VJ stint ay ang naging daan para sa kanya na mapursu niya ang kanyang mga totoong passion sa buhay kagaya ng photography and writing. Ngayon siya na ang pinakabagong editor-in-chief ng Metro Magazine. Congratulations, Sarah! Our guest for tonight is no stranger in the world of VJs and hosting. Isa sa mga naunang MTV VJs noong 90s at nagmodelo, artista at host din siya. Controversial but honest, mamaya ay makakasama natin si Casey Montero at atin siyang kakamustahin sa kanong pinagkakabalahan niya ngayon at makipagsuntuan din tayo sa kanya tungkol sa kanyang mga passions and interests. Tutok lang and don't forget to comment to our Twitter and Instagram accounts at official tinyak. Gamit yung hashtag na the tinyak show. Ito nga, ikaw, yung start ko na ba?
Welcome back to the Tenyak Show. Fresh from his breakthrough role as the lead villain in Kubot, you know him as a wacky guy, I know him as a serious guy. What's the real deal? Let's hear it from Casey Montero. Hi, Tim. Oi. Hello, Casey. How are you doing? Drunk. <laughs> Thank you. Ouch. Ouch. Sakit yes. Yes. yes, yes. How are you, buddy? Thanks, Rosa. Rosa, oh, oh. Keep tight, my man. Oh, yeah. Real <laughs> part of. How you doing? Case, congratulations. Uh, rave reviews about your performance as the lead villain in Kubo. Thank you. How was that? I saw the trailer and talagang sobrang serious yung acting mo doon. Oh my God, you know, it's been my dream ever since I was a young boy. <laughs> Talaga? No. <laughs> okay. Actually, it was it was crazy to be asked to be in that movie. And uh, they said, okay, uh, Casey, you're in Kubo. I was like, why? <laughs> First, what's Kubot? <laughs> yeah, what's a Kubot? Yes. Yeah. And then they said, uh, no, it's a Ding Dong Dantes movie, Eric Mati, seven like, why, why do you want me? I'm not an actor. We're fishing. Why do you want me? <laughs> you're, you're perfect for the role, Casey. Mm. Oh, then I, uh, no, so they said that, and then I was like, okay, see, I'll try it. And then um, and I, I did it. It was a very uh, nerve wracking, it was kind of an awkward experience for me because I didn't know. Hindi ka nagpapatawa. Tsaka hindi ka nagpapatawa doon. It was really, you were a serious uh, uh, vampire out to eat everyone. I saw I was, uh, yes, out to eat everyone. Yeah. People must know me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so, uh, so, when they offered it to you, you, did you have doubts at first? Oh, yeah. I doubted the whole time. Even in the, in the making of the movie, I was still wondering, like, why am I here? And like, because the villain has to be like a very powerful person in order to carry the film also. Yes. Like Ding Dong needs an adversary. Yes. And I, I was like... He's I, a worthy ano, yeah. kalaban, di ba? Yeah. Oh. So I was wondering like, you know, why me? And out of nowhere. So, uh, you know, I was just, you know, blessed that they let me have that opportunity. Yeah. And, and like watching it on the, on the screen, I was like, oh my God. What and is a that? film fest pa, and yeah. it was one of the top grossers as well. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh, so, but what people don't know about Casey is whatever uh, you give Casey, he'll he'll go and grab it and really, really make the most out of it, and you'll really pour out your heart, diba? Right? People don't know how intense you secretly are. Yeah, I'm a secretly intense person. You know that the movie, all of the uh, the lines were lines. mine. Oh, oh. So I had to ad lib everything. Because how? I mean, brief ng scene. Oh, you have to tell people that you that you that you you're out to scare them. Uh, that they have to get ready for the the taking over the vampires. Well, the, and then you put in the words. Yeah. Well, the the very first taping day. So. I was nervous. I, it was in the church scene. So, yes. 70, direct, er, uh, Eric Matthew. Okay, Casey, this is your scene. This is what you're going to be remembered by. And the three months I had the script, that scene had no script. Had no lines. No lines. Oh. And that was the very first scene we shot. So, I was like, great. Day one, in nervous front. in front of everyone. Direct, Eric Matthew says, Casey, bahala ka na. I was like, oh God, yeah. really? So, um, and they wanted it in Tagalog, so... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to like ad-lib the whole thing. And uh, it was... It was... You know, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, but can you imagine as, as an artist also you, that you're given that kind of leeway to create. So uh, what your director, what direct Eric Mati wanted you to do was to create the role. Yeah, yeah. Right? And Innately like, from I, your, from I studied actor, many people. Like yeah, an yeah and, and he was like, uh, so I did something. And I was like, ah. he goes, Casey, good. Now erase it, erase it, come out fresh. And I was like, <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought, I'm not used to this. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I, I thought oh, it oh. was funny the whole time I was doing it. So it was, it was fun. And hopefully, They'll get me to do something else. What's the what was the feedback of the people? Like you know the ones who watched it, your family, uh, other kids. What did they think of you uh, doing the part? A lot of people didn't even know it was me. See? Yeah. Wow. So you're able to erase erase Casey Montero, the the personality from your character. Yeah, it's it's also cool. Like there's other people in the movie. You know, Ding Dong. He was also in. <laughs> okay. By the way. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, it was it was really just my breakout role. 
Yes, and, it was really uh, your breakout role. Now that I'm on and the I was, scene, you know. I was hoping that you'd win the best supporting actor. <laughs> I wasn't even diba? nominated. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't even what nominated. What kind of a council is that? Arnold Vega Free is on it. Oh, he said oh, I was okay. one uh, like one vote away from being nominated. Oh. But Joey won it, so I wouldn't have won it. Joey anything. Marquez won it. Yeah, he was it. in the film oh. also. So, but also working with a group of such stellar actors, such serious, uh, you know, devoted to their craft people. You know, what what do you guys talk about uh, in uh, on the set? I mean, how? Are you, what's the dynamic? Uh, it was it was. I didn't really work much with Joey. I like a couple scenes we had together. Um, Ding Dong, most of the time we talked about his wedding. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> we didn't really talk about the movie much. Yeah. But the uh action, -oh, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, most of it was like, because no one knew it was like what, what I was going to do because yes. it was all ad living. So. Wow. So it was like a work in progress that uh, that uh, resulted into a really good and commercially yeah. viable film too. A couple of times I was in the bathroom and I was practicing. I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. And I was looking. I was like, okay, this is intense. Oh. And then I came out and I did the scene, and Eric was like, good take, and I was like, sample nga sample kahi. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Oh. So I, and Eric was like, uh, "Good take," and I was like, "No, no, 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 no. I want to do it. That's not how I, I wanted to do it." Oh, it's not like good take now, but your standards of acting yeah. excellence. Oh yeah, my. <laughs> I have I have oh. a, a bar to hit that I've yes, set so yes, high. Yes, 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 The Montero uh, acting, uh, no, oh my acting gosh. standard. You're talking about the Montero acting standards. He throw Montero. Oh. Oh my God, idol. Oh, no man. His, his, he's been in two movies. Two movies, yes. okay. Oh. Uh, one starring Jessa Saragossa. Wow, okay. critically pa. acclaimed. Oh, oh. Barely, barely oh. critically. One he, vote away from being critically acclaimed. From going straight to TV. Oh. And uh, his role there was he had to get out of a swimming pool oh. in slow motion. Dubbed pa. Oh. Hello, Jessa. How are you? Yerang <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. That was his voice also. It wasn't like, hey, it was like, oh. ah, ang ganda mo. Wow! Ito yung ibang klaseng workshop ang kailangan to, to be able to act that way, di ba? Yan talaga, the Montero Brothers standard of acting. Yes, we've been in a total of four movies. There, di ba? Yeah. But Kubot <laughs> takes the cake, I yeah. must say. Di ba? You you're, you're really grab that role by the balls and scare the people, you know, into the cinema, which is good. Right? Grab that role by the balls. Yes. <laughs> Kubot, kasi Kubot eh. <laughs> Alam mo, maraming pa tayo pag-uusapan dahil si Casey, maraming pa! Hindi lang yan ang ginagawa ni Casey ngayon, napakadami his entrepreneurial pursuits, other things that he is planning for the future, and his new girlfriend will all talk, will talk about that and more sa pagbabalik ng The Tim Yap Show. And we are back on the Kenya Show Season 6. Wow, congrats. Thank you. And second year too, huh? Uh -huh. And new home. Yes, and new home. Uh, ro ro mobile home. Anyway, Casey, <laughs> we've known Casey about the Casey the actor. We talked about that earlier. And then now we're going to talk about Casey the entrepreneur. You know, people. a lot of people don't know that you're behind a lot of the brands, a lot of uh, new establishments that have uh, sprung out in the metro. Tell us more about that case. Um, okay, so where do we start? Clothing. Clothing, yes. We have a couple stores uh, called Trilogy. Mm -hmm. And in Trilogy, we, we own uh, urban brands. So like Illist, Crooks and Castles, um, GPPR, we sell in Bay. And we have about four of those stores. Also, wow, uh, and we see a lot of those. Uh, I see a lot of those in the kids in the metro, you know, um, in the street scene. It's very right? hip, you know. A very yeah, hip, very time right? Yeah. Oh. Also, uh, Team Manila. Yes, of course. Team Manila, you know, support local. So we got uh, about 20 plus stores with Team Manila. Mm -hmm. um, also, a social media 
agency. Yes, um, yes. We have the new restaurant called Treehouse. Yes. Tree, well, Treehouse where, Tavern. Where and is Treehouse Tree uh, Tavern? Treehouse Tavern is uh, the second floor on a, at a venue on Yukaki Avenue, and we actually just took over the bottom. So now we're gonna have a full-on uh, oh. like restaurant. Because upstairs is a frat house. Spadang, upstairs like, is top, and then downstairs is bottom. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> downstairs is is the strong bottom. Ah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's gonna be full-on food downstairs. Yes. So Casey, with all these uh, per entrepreneurial pursuits of yours, how do you balance your time and you do your morning radio pa? I, uh, now it's afternoon. It's night. It's night time. Night. I, I just couldn't do it in the morning. Yes, I, yes. I didn't like it because I'm a night person and mm -hmm. most of my ideas come at night. And uh, I'm, I don't know about you. Do you like mornings? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. You like mornings. You don't yeah, like yeah. waking up in the morning. Yes, yeah, yes. Cause... I can last till morning. Right, right. Yeah, but I don't like that. Doing yeah. anything before noon is a bad idea for exactly, me. Exactly, exactly. Um, How do you balance all of that? Uh, I have a lot of people true, around me true, that, true. Uh, that help. Yes, I'm, a, I'm the king of micromanagement. Mm -hmm. So a lot of, this is what I need done, and this is what I expect you to do. Please get back to me when it's done. Yes, and you are at your most fit, I think, of all, of all the past few years. Yes. Right? You've been going to the gym, mm -hmm. right? How did you, uh, you know, get to commit to that? Um, I have somebody who makes me go to the gym. Wow, is this your girlfriend? Yeah, and she, wow. she uh, also, I don't go out as much anymore at night. So she's, uh, she's tamed the beast. Wow. Okay, tell us more about this uh, new girlfriend of yours. Uh, she is probably going to hate me talking about her, but uh, she's uh, uh, a model right now. Um, she's half Vietnam. She's from New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And uh, I met her about a year ago. I've seen her. She's really pretty. And what's her name? Stephanie. Stephanie. We'll just leave it at that. Ah, okay, we'll leave it at Stephanie. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, how long have you guys been seeing each other? Um, since around March last year. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, and then uh, what's, what's life with Stephanie like? It's good. Life is good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she she just know. got back last night. Slambuk, but not slambuk. She got back last night from shooting a commercial, so, uh, like, you know, I'm happy she's home. Wow, and I'm happy that you guys are happy too. You know, you, again, Casey is one of the. Magaling magmahal to eh. So Casey, <laughs> Tim's been there for. Uh, yes. For it all. Yes, I've seen I've seen Casey go through these ups and downs and always back up, diba? Mm -hmm. Um Also, Case, I know you're doing a uh, show soon with Mo Twister. Is that true? Um, <laughs> this is awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of awkward because you guys had a very public, uh, or at least in social media, you guys had a very uh, well, online public a uh, on, fight. Not we never really went Fought. at it. Yes. But always parinig, mga ganyan. Yeah, I mean, obviously there's uh, a lot of people who would say stuff because of the Rian issue. Yes, yes. But um, we never really went at it. Yes. And obviously it's there. But uh, I don't care. It's yes. the past. And I believe that it's the past also for him. Um, but with the working together, it's a sports show. And we don't aren't necessarily going to be on the same set. Yes. Uh, because he'll always be in the LA set, and yes. he'll always be around yes. er er everywhere. And and uh, I didn't want to disrespect Brian at all about yes. the whole thing, so I told her about it, and she said, you know, it's okay. Great. Uh, yeah, and then I, and I messaged him. Uh, and you messaged each other, and it was what was how what was that like? what was that like? Uh, messaging Reed. Now messaging uh, Mo. Mo. Uh, I, out of nowhere, I just said, okay, this is going to be awkward, but. Um, Apparently, we're going to be working together on a show, so, you know, let bygones be bygones and let's move forward. So, he said, yes, it's, it's in the past. Wow, see? Amongst gentlemen, or about gentlemen, amongst gentlemen, everything's, everything's going to go fine, right? It should. It should, <laughs> exactly. That's what life is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, there's no, there's no point in dwelling on the past. Yeah. And what did the and Rian was so, totally okay with it? Also? Um, she, she said she was. I don't know how okay she is with it, but um, I let her know about it. I would rather me tell her than, you know, yeah. she find out about it. Yeah. Everything with respect, right? mm. Okay, good. Okay, now it's time to play celebrity games. Okay, uh, questions. Uh, 
questions and you just answer it by, uh, you know, choosing, no? Okay. 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 Book lover or music lover? Music lover. Hairy or smooth? <laughs> <laughs> I have a funny story about smooth. Okay, so oh. go ahead. Oh. Have you ever, like, I shaved my balls the other day, uh -huh. like super, super... Like, like this, like this? Oh, it's it's like a baby. You wanna see, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done it. Uh, and then, and uh, then? And like, I actually had to Google it, like uh -huh. how to shave. Well, first you trim it in the context, yeah, and then yeah. you... Oh. And then you gotta pull it tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You gotta pull that thing tight, Oh, you right? have to... Because it's like this, usually. Oh. And then you gotta pull it tight. Yes, yes, And then yes. you gotta shave it down there, but you can't really get it off. Right? Yeah, because I got a cramp in my neck yeah. from doing and this. I should have been it's, sitting down. It's kind of itchy after, huh? Oh yeah, it's oh, like it's like a little oh, chafe, okay, chafe yeah, machine. Oh. And then, bahanaman, and also your underwear is gonna get some holes. Oh god! Actually, you know what was hard <laughs> reaching was the butt. Yeah. Oh, wow. I couldn't get that. Hello, there just for have somebody do it for you. I know. You should delegate that too, right? Yes, micromanage. Can micro somebody mic please shave my butt? So ball. answering that, are you into hairy or smooth? I'm gonna have to say smooth now. Wow. I really After like all it. that, dapat lang, no? Yes. Moreno or Morena or Mestiza? I don't care, but uh, right now I'm gonna say Mestiza. Yes, I can. I, I've seen her. Yes. Lights on or lights off? Lights on. Hot or cold? Cold. Top or bottom? <laughs> Is this me on top? Ang bahala ka. Ito sa'yo. Top, of course. Lollipop or hipon? Lollipop. Lollipop. Smart or sporty? Smart. Rough or soft? <laughs> rough. Rough, rough, rough. Smooth and slow or rough and wild? Oh my god, it depends on how much I've had to drink. Um, <laughs> what? Smooth and slow. Smooth and slow. Mom. And then rough and wild. And then you know what I'm talking about, and then Tim? Smooth and then smooth and slow. And then ah! Smooth and slow, smooth and slow. You know, diba? Alternating yan, diba? Yes. Dapat tama. Manghang o maasim? And lastly, sa loob o sa labas? <laughs> you guys, uh, sa loob. Sa loob. Uh, sa loob ng kulambo. Uh, <laughs> sa naman malamig, baka may mga lamok-lamok. Mahagat pa yung balls mo. Sa, la diba? sa loob ng warm. Sa loob ng warm. Uh, <laughs> Ayun, ng warm. Uh, it's like a baby. This diba? is late night TV, yes, right? Yes, yan. Well, Case, thank you so much for being such a good sport and for, for coming here to get up for again. And, uh, you know, I wish all your ventures, you know, be as successful as the first time you ever did something, no? Yes, thank you very much for having me back here. Mm. And thanks for uh, for accepting me for who I am, Tim. Of course, yes, I will thanks, always. Thanks for loving you me. You and your kubot. Thanks for loving me the yeah. way that you love me. Mm. You love me like no other, you know? <laughs> I just want to let you know that I care for you. Yes. <laughs> well, it's okay. But again, congratulations on Kubot. You know, uh, you know, you've had a, a great year of uh, breaking boundaries, and uh, it's a breakthrough year. It's been it a breakthrough, is. breakthrough end of the year, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm sure it's gonna carry on over through yes. to, th throughout this year. 2015 is gonna be a really good year. Yeah, you feel it, no? Yeah, I do. I do, and it's also. Uh, it's all starting so good because I've been able to get off uh, my chest certain things that I've been worried about, like now, but the young go kalbo. Kalbo na oh, lahat na kalbo. Yes. So uh, yeah, this is all edited out. Well, thanks for thanks for, thanks for having me on the show. And if you guys uh, are up uh, six to nine p.m. Wave eighty nine point one, you can hear the wild side of me, Jimmy Luna. And uh, watch out for a new show on on Fox Sports. Yes. And possibly another show with me, with you. Yes, uh, and daily at that. Yeah. So right. you're oh. gonna be working really hard. So, exactly. But uh, anyway, it's got, it's all about a year of breakthroughs. Mm -hmm. and if it's about a year of breakthroughs, we have to work harder to achieve those yes. breakthroughs. Yes. Right. So okay, lang yan. You know, have good vibes. When you reach that point, when you're about to break through, and you tell yourself, maybe I can't, but then you push yourself, then you break through. So you, just like uh, your improv improvisational states, uh, as the first day of your of you shooting your kubot, and look at the result. You know, it makes you happy because it makes other people happy too, diba? You know, have good vibes. Going after what you want in life and breaking through. So let's all celebrate breakthroughs. Let's all work for that. 
Kasama si Casey Montero. You are watching The Tim Network. Good night. Team, pero...